I knew that was going to happen. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla, and yes, the second title to be added to our Godzilla's Retro Rewind is the Director's Cut version of the original Resident Evil. Thank you for joining me, as always. If you are unfamiliar with what Retro Rewind is, it is when we play the games of yesteryear. Earlier today, the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers on the PS2, but right now, we are turning back the clock to 1996, the first horror title to coin the term survival horror. Capcom's brilliantly, brilliantly crafted franchise of Resident Evil. And just like when I played this the very first time, I'm going to slap myself with nostalgia in the face because we are choosing Jill Valentine as the character we are going to play as. I've always liked Jill, probably one of my favorite all-time Resident Evil characters. We're going to get this bad boy underway. Check this intro out for 90s nostalgia. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! I was trying not, my best not to say anything during this intro so you can appreciate it for its cheesiness. It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Oh, they went, Chris. Don't you worry about that. Jill, run for that house! <laughs> Here it is. Chris, Chris Redfield. Redfield. Get around it. Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine. 
bear return. Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. Chambers. Albert, Albert Wesker. Wesker. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Yes. The hype. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Them polygons do. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! 10-4. I still remember when this game first came out, guys. I was five going on six. I remember my dad and my uncle would go down to Blockbuster, hire it, good old days of Blockbuster, and they would sit up until 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning playing this game. A dining room. I just have such an appreciation for this franchise. It's probably my favorite horror franchise of all time when it comes to video gaming, and this shaped the future of horror what? games moving forward. What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I shall. Now the dialogue is really corny and cheesy, guys. You're going to have to bear with it. Little fun fact for you guys at home. This game holds the Guinness World Book of Records record for worst dialogue in a video game. And you're going to witness that first up with us right here. But it feels great playing the old school game. I haven't played it in so long. I know something's about to go down up in here, that's why I'm taking my time. We better equip this. Excuse me, sir. Okay, sir, it's alright, I can see you're, uh, you're busy with your lunch there, I'll just, um... I'll just head back out to Barry. Barry can sort you out. If it looks like I'm struggling with the controls, I apologize. This was before joysticks, so I'm having to use the directional buttons to control this. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Can I go check Kenneth's body real quick? No, I've got to report this to Wesker. Alright, because Kenneth probably has some bullets for us to pick up. for the time being. While I have a look around this hall, guys, do me a favour. Let me know in the comment section down below 
if you have played the original Resident Evil, and also let me know what your favourite horror genre video game is. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. You better be. Let's get upstairs, because even though we said we stick to the first floor, I know we can get ourselves a decent gun upstairs. Now, we could wait, and it could provide us opportunity for a cutscene, but I think it's best if we get it straight up. If you haven't played this before, the gameplay does vary if you choose Jill and Chris. I think Chris's story is more canon to the series, but I just like playing as Jill. There's not really a difficulty, but I feel Jill has an easier run, but can take less hits, whereas Chris only starts with a knife, harder to find weapons, but he can take a lot more hits. So it just depends on the playstyle you want. But check this out. We're about to add to our arsenal right here. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh, the crows are here. It's alright, just let me pick up uh, Forrest's gun right here. Which is the bazooka, thank you very much. That's why I thought it was best we grab that straight away. Can't talk to him, doesn't have any bullets or anything like that. very keen to be playing this and showing you some gameplay. This is the beginning of what's going to be the entire Resident Evil series being uploaded to the channel, so get excited for that. And you'll get to see not only the graphics upgrade, but you'll also get to witness how the gameplay evolved from the first game up until Resident Evil 7, moving into the Resident Evil 2 remake that's coming out in January, which will be hitting the channel on release. Cannot wait to dive into that. It's a good thing I know what I'm doing, because we can get lost up in this mansion. It's a bit of a headache. And I do apologise in advance if we do get lost. But just in case, there's a map up in that bowl. And I think it's best if we get the map out of the way. Stopping and propping. Get used to it. I'm not used to using the directional pad anymore. Can we just knife him? That'd be great if we could save the bullets. Come on.
Good night. Got to love the loading screens and the wait times. Just really takes you back. Ink ribbon. For those of you who don't know, the ink ribbon allows us to use the typewriters to save our progress. There used to be handgun ammo there. But it's okay, we'll have to find it elsewhere. I think the director's cut obviously changes things around from the uncut version. I know you can push one of these. Is this the one you can push? No, it is not. Ah! I knew that was going to happen. just testing you. Anything? There was nothing there. Just a waste of my time. Yeah, come on puppy. I know you're there. You will see a lot of creatures from the movie in this original game. A lot that didn't make the cut that I would have actually liked to have seen a couple of them actually in movie form. But you'll see them later on in the playthrough because they don't come into play until about the halfway point. But the movies re really didn't emulate the games all that much, especially the first game. If anything, the movie stuck to the second and third kind of game a bit more than the first. I'll have a look at me there. Carving of armor. Check everything out that we can. We don't want to go past any bullets or anything like that. Looking good, Jill. Nothing in the bathtub. Nothing useful. Well, it's a toilet. Toilets are pretty useful. Just making sure there was nothing in that bathtub. But we're coming up to a point where you're about to see the point I made earlier about worst dialogue in video game history. Perfect prime example. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's about to go down. Because we're about to pick up our third weapon. The shotgun. Yep. Shock, horror, panic. The door's locked. And the door's locked. What are we going to do, God's Zero Nation? Waited that long to ask? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! Just in the nick of time. What would I do without you, Barry? Oh, Barry! 
That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, ah. thanks for saving my life. It's terrible, guys. But Barry, didn't you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? See you, Barry. you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. I warned you the dialogue was terrible. I don't know whether you're dead. I didn't think you were. Double tap. Always make sure. Magic herbs that restore your health. See, what was so good about this, even though the dialogue was absolutely terrible, was the whole inventory management, which you're about to see here with the use of this chest, being able to store things away. But limited resources, I mean, they give you a couple of clips to start with here. But the fixed camera angles and the tight narrow corners and it just really painted the survival horror picture. Yeah, we're going to take this with us. Good old bag of chemical fertilizer. I'm going to combine those to make some room. We'll put the ink ribbons away, because I feel that we're not going to be in any dire strife. We'll keep the shotgun just in case we need to use it. Shouldn't have to early on. But as the game progresses, you'll, you'll see for yourself. You will see for yourself. Build the suspense. Dead. No need for the double tap. Can we get in here? No, we cannot. It's locked. So there's four keys in the game you have to locate, guys. The helmet, the shield, the spade, and the armor. And obviously there are certain doors that are locked to those keys. That's going to give us a map. I don't think we can get in here yet. There you go. Carving of a helmet. So you need the helmet key. So it's good, because as well as, you know, the survival horror aspect, it combines puzzles and stuff as well. Definitely groundbreaking in the sense of the type of game it is for its time. Do we need to double tap? The doorknob is broken. We do not need to double tap. Ooh, we unlocked it. Oh, we are out of bullets.
Barry! So much for sticking to the Jill, first floor, Barry. What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure <laughs> our so escape terrible. route first. It is there terrible. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank so you. if you're a dead thing, I'll take this, then. like zombies, then this weapon's useless. So what's the point of taking it? It's not even a weapon, Barry. It's rounds for a bloody rock, uh, the bazooka. What are you talking about? See you, Barry. But this is where we are going to wrap up the first episode, guys. There is plenty more Resident Evil to come. Thank you for joining me, as always. If you are keen to see this play out, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, plenty of other stuff to go check out. I urge you to do so. And if you enjoy what I'm throwing down, get on board the God Zero Nation by hitting subscribe. Social media links down below. Hit that notification bell before you leave. Don't forget, this is part of Retro Rewind, playing the games of yesteryear. Any suggestions for old school games, let me know in the comment section down below. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.